Well, here we are again, CSX in the kitchen. I'm Julian Jordan. The crew's over there, and the food is right here. So we're going to do a couple things for Easter. So you color your Easter eggs, right? And then you have all these eggs. We're going to make a nice tarragon egg salad. We're going to put it on some really nice rye bread. And uh, so let's, let's just start with that, and then we'll talk about a beautiful spinach salad. Okay, so we have all these eggs. We colored them. They were so pretty. They were so nice. So we're going to chop them up, chop the eggs up, and we'll add some great ingredients. Tarragon, oh, it's so fresh and delicious. I love it. But I never really knew a lot about tarragon until I went to culinary school. And it's got just a great flavor. Some say it's got the flavor of anise, but it's, it's, that sounds kind of gross. Maybe that's why I never tried it. It's real mild and it's just rich and delicious. So if you haven't cooked with tarragon, um, maybe give it a try. Up to you, right? So we're going to cut these eggs up. Now, if you don't color Easter eggs, I've got a, I like hacks and I've got a nice hack for you. They have pre boiled and peeled Easter eggs. And so, um, if you want to go that route, makes it life a little bit easier. I love all these pre-prepared foods that they have now at the grocery store because we're busy in life and especially, I don't have kids, but if you have kids, uh, especially little kids, that's a lot of work and you're tired at the end of the day, you don't want to spend your whole day in the kitchen and or your whole night in the kitchen. And so all the hacks, take advantage of them because they work, have no shame, in your game, because I don't. Okay, and we have all of our lovely Easter eggs and the Easter basket and the pretty flowers. Feels like spring around here, and it feels like spring out there as well. Finally, we've been so patient, haven't we? So patient. Okay, so we have the eggs in there. Now we're gonna do put in some mayonnaise, and I always, say use real mayonnaise, use Hellman's mayonnaise. Uh, it's just better, it's the real stuff. I'm not a Miracle Whip fan, and I don't mean to offend any of you who are. I mean, do what you want. But I'm a real mayonnaise kind of gal. So we're gonna put in about three tablespoons of mayo in there. And we'll do some shallots. Shallots are uh, like onions, but they're way sweeter and way more mellow, but delicious, so we're gonna I'm kind of messy today, you guys. A little bit messy. But you know what? In the end, it's all the same result. Okay, so we'll mix that around. And we'll do a little bit of white wine vinegar as well. Kind of mush it up a little bit. And make it pretty, consistent, well mixed through. But it's really hard to mess up egg salad. And then I have white wine vinegar. Oh, that's right here. That's my olive oil. So we'll put in a couple of shots of that and uh, make it nice and tart. And so we have the shallots. Let's chop up some tarragon. Let me wipe my cutting board. I don't want to be, you know, messy cooking shamed. <laughs> we'll get it a little bit cleaned up. It won't be perfect, but like I always say, say la vie. Okay, so this is the tarragon, and we'll just chop it up. Then we'll get it into that salad. We'll salt and pepper it, and then I'll taste it, and we can adjust. That's the great thing. You, you can't take out, you can add. That's the best thing. Can't always take things out, like salt, especially, uh, but I tend to use quite a bit of salt. Okay, we've got the tarragon in there, and that adds some nice green color as well. And uh, is that it? I believe that's it. Oh, salt and pepper. <laughs> Key ingredient. Sometimes when I do the show, I forget to salt and pepper, but I always, I always do it when I'm cooking in real life, so we're going to do it right now. There's the pepper. We'll do a little bit of salt. And like I said, if, if it's not enough when you taste it, you can adjust those flavors. No problem. So this is quite lovely, isn't it? 
like all that green in there. I think it's a good consistency. And I think I'm going to spread it on a piece of this rye bread. I'll just take a little piece of it and we'll give it a taste. And then we'll decide if it's good or not. What did I do with that little piece of bread? Oh, it's underneath the knife. I swear, sometimes I worry about myself. Mmm. Mm hmm. I'm not bragging, but it's kind of perfect. So I'll save this for the guys, the hardworking crew, the most awesome guys ever. Mmm. Okay, so we'll clean that up a little bit. And let's get on this salad. This is a spinach salad with a sherry vinaigrette and with pecans and gorgonzola cheese. Gorgonzola cheese is so good. It's not quite as sharp as blue cheese. Uh, so it's a little more creamy and less harsh, you know. It doesn't bite you as much, although I like blue cheese too. Okay, we've got a nice bowl of baby spinach in here. Triple washed. Take a couple of these stems off. Um, the stems are good too. If you make pesto with spinach, definitely leave those stems on because there's a lot of flavor in them. So we'll just take a few of them off. And okay, we're gonna chop up some pecans. Uh, we don't want them to be too big. I can't believe one of these suckers hasn't gotten away from me yet. It usually happens. And I love pecans, or is it pecans? I think they say it differently in the north than they say it in the south. I think in the south they say pecan. So we'll say pecan, because we're northerners. Okay, so we've chopped those up. Uh, we're going to put them in last. And let's do some olive oil. You do three parts olive oil to one part vinegar. That's how that goes. So we'll get that in there. And then we're going to do the sherry vinegar. I just kind of eyeball it. And, but you know, three to one. That's the basic rule of law in, in cooking. Okay, and I think I'll mix that up right now. Great tools, the hand. Now we will crumble this beautiful gorgonzola cheese into the salad. And I hope no one here minds, but I'm, I'm gonna put a lot in there. Every bite should have a, a little hunk of cheese. Now, I don't know if I said this on the show before, but I have a good friend. Hi, Katie. How are you, girl? Uh, she doesn't like cheese. She doesn't like cheese. Oh, I told her, I said, you know, you're lucky we're good friends because I might have to kick you out of my house, girlfriend. <laughs> okay, we've got plenty of gorgonzola in there. Now we'll put these beautiful pecans in there. And I think I'll mix it up a little bit more with this spoon or with these forks. And then the magic time happens where I will try it. So if you want to see all of my videos, you can text the keyword kitchen to 248-398-WCSX. And that's 248-398-9279. And you can check them out. You guys, we've been doing this show for two and a half years now. We're completely insane. Had a little bump in the road after I broke my shoulder, but I'm back and we're looking forward to doing a lot of shows in the future. And that includes this one. And also on the website, all my daily rock and recipes. The rock and recipe of the day is up there and I post one every weekday. So you, no excuses for not uh, having an avenue to plan your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I mostly do uh, the latter two. And I try to find things that are, are easy. Like this was a very simple thing to do, right? Okay, let's take a bite of this salad. Get this a little bit of everything in there. Need a little pe pecan, a little gorgonzola, and I've got one piece of spinach. <laughs> Come here, little guy. Ah. Okay, this is better. I really just want the, the, the pecans and the gorgonzola. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful. And um, that gorgonzola cheese just adds that little kapow to it, but only a little one. Very refreshing. Pretty healthy. I mean, you have nuts, you have spinach. The cheese is just a little bonus because we got to treat ourselves once in a while. You know, too many diets in the world. Um, although I, I don't want to say that to you because <laughs> you've lost a lot of weight. Right, Garrett? Yeah, I, I'm proud of you for that. Good job. Good work. You did it, man. Okay, so happy Easter, everyone. If you don't celebrate Easter, just happy Sunday to you. But these are a couple of real easy ideas for after your Easter eggs. And this can be on your Easter dinner table. Everyone's going to gobble it right up. CSX in the kitchen. Happy to be here once again. We'll catch you next time.